this tourism system is one of the most well-known tourism models that we have today. But what is it? What does it mean? What's it all about? In today's video, I'm going to cover it all. And if you are new here, I am Dr. Hayley Stainton. I'm an academic and a teacher of travel and tourism. And if you do want to learn more about the travel and tourism industry, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So let's start off by understanding who was Lipa? Neil Leiper was an Australian tourism scholar who died in February 2010. His work was extremely influential and continues to be well cited throughout the tourism literature. Leiper had four major areas in which he focused his research. Tourism systems, partial industrialization, tourist attraction systems and strategy. And it is his work on tourism systems that is the basis of Leiper's tourism system model. Essentially, Leiper was able to bridge the gap between tourism academics, and people on the ground working in the travel and tourism industry. And his model helps people to understand, better manage their travel and tourism industries, and to be more sustainable. So why was Leiper's model developed? Well, Leiper's tourism system model is largely linked to the lack of definitions that we have of travel and tourism. Different people have tried to define travel and tourism in different ways over the year, but Leiper was different. Leiper said there should be no one set definition and instead tourism should be identified as a system. He said, the system involving the discretionary travel and temporary stay of persons away from their usual residence for one or more nights, accepting tours made for the primary purpose of earning remuneration from points en route. The elements of the system are tourists, generating regions, transit routes, destination regions, and a tourist industry. These five elements are arranged in spatial and functional connections. Having the characteristics of an open system, the organization of five elements operates within broader environments physical, cultural, social, economic, political, and technological, within which it interacts. In other words, Leiper said that in order for us to understand what tourism is, we need to understand that there are different parts of the system that are all interrelated. They are all connected, they are all linked. And this was the birth of Leiper's tourism system. So how does Leiper's tourism system work? Well, Leiper put together a model to demonstrate that there are different areas of the system, but they are not separate. They all rely on each other. Let's think, for example, about a car engine. There are lots of different parts to the engine, but if one of those parts stops functioning, the whole engine stops working. Leiper's tourism system is just the same. There are lots of different elements and they all rely and depend on each other in order to to be the tourism system overall and to allow us to have the tourism industry that we have. So let's give an example within the travel and tourism industry and put this into context. If the airline is not flying to a destination, the hotel in the destination will not have the business because people can't get there. And the taxi driver won't have the business because nobody wants a taxi to get to the hotel because they can't get there in the first place. Now this is a really simple example, but hopefully that makes some sense to you. And if this is helpful so far, do me a big favor and Hit the like button on this video. So what are the basic elements of Leiper's tourism system? Well, there are three major elements to Leiper's tourism system. The tourists, the geographical features, and the tourism industry. So let's have a look at what each of these mean. The tourist is the actor in Leiper's tourism system. They move around the system, consuming various elements along the way. At one point, they're taking a flight, at one point they are traveling around their destination, at another point they are returning home. They move around. In Leiper's tourism system, he identifies that there are three major geographical features. This encompasses the traveler generating region, the tourist destination region, and the tourist transit region. Leiper then identifies that at the very heart of his model is the tourism industry itself. So what are the geographical features of Leiper's tourism system model? Well, let's start by looking at the traveler generating region. This is the area where the tourists begin their journey. It's not entirely clear to which level of detail. Is this their home? Is this their hometown? Is it their home country? But what we do know is it's where they are starting off their journey. It's where they come from. Leiper then identifies the tourist destination region. So this is the place that we are traveling as tourists to. Again, 
This isn't entirely clear as to what level of detail, so it could be the country we are visiting, it could be the area of the world, it could be the specific street. But what we do know is that it means the place that we're going to. And in this tourist destination region, you will likely find many elements of the travel and tourism industry. For example, accommodation, transport options, entertainment options, tourist attractions. And the third geographical region that Leiper identifies within his model is the tourist transit region. Now this is the time when we are in transit. We are moving between the traveler generating region and the tourist destination region. It's that stage between when we are at home and when we are on holiday. This could be the airport experience, it could be the transfer, it could be the car drive, but it's that time between the two destinations. So the tourist transit region will involve inevitably transport operators, but also other stakeholders such as food providers, McDonald's at the airport, for example. So Leiper's tourism system model has been used in tourism literature and as a means of understanding the tourism industry for many years. Some people do argue it's a bit too simple, but sometimes simple is good. It helps us to plan. And especially if you are a stakeholder in travel and tourism and you haven't necessarily done a degree in travel and tourism management, having this simplistic understanding allows you to, to plan and manage and to really understand by taking a step back what the tourism industry actually looks like. If you found this video helpful, then I do recommend you subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this to help you learn more about travel and tourism. And I've got a bunch of great videos and I know you will just love this one next.